Well, thank you. I also think uh, uh, thanks to the organizers for organizing these conferences. Um, I want to talk about uh, uh, things I did during my master thesis. Um, and maybe it's nice to mention that part of it, part of the research was inspired by a talk given by Raya Shamar uh, three years ago at the Fields Institute. So um, I thought it was fitting. Right, so the um, um, topic is Lie groups of Poisson diffeomorphisms. So let's first start with Lie groups of diffeomorphisms uh, to get an idea. So it's a well-known fact um, that if you have a manifold, uh, say compact if you want, um, the, differential, uh, the group of diffeomorphisms is an infinite dimensional Lie group. You can put the structure on the manifold, for, for instance, a symplectic structure, and then you can look at a, um, a group of symplectomorphisms, uh, which is also an infinite dimensional Lie group. And in fact, it's uh, algebraic structure, at least on the uh, identity component. So whenever there's a zero here, I mean the identity component. This algebraic structure is in general well understood uh, by means of a, a tool called the flux homomorphism. Um, so yeah, um, we understand this object quite well. Now, if you look at the gen more general Poisson manifold, very little is known now about what this diffeomorphism group, the group of Poisson diffeomorphisms, actually is. So this was this was the topic of my of my um, of my research. A more concrete question would be: Well, just like the previous cases, can we describe the group of Poisson diffeomorphisms as a Lie group? In general, this question is uh, too hard. So uh, I started looking at cases, and I want to say yes in many cases. So first of all, when when um, when the Poisson manifold is log symplectic, as as we've seen in uh, uh, Rice's talk. Um, second, there are other examples like elliptic symplectic structures or scattering symplectic structures and those all fit into the um, a type of asymplectic structures and for those we can say that um, the diffeomorphism group is a is a Lie group it also holds for for co-symplectic structures so these, these are not of the type before what's a co-symplectic structure it's when we have a Poisson structure of constant rank and we have um, Poisson vector fields that are transverse to the symplectic foliation and that, are, that also commute. So in a sense, the transverse structure, the transverse symmetries is rich and easy to understand. In this case, also the diffeomorphism group is a Lie group. And um, another case would be if uh, pi is a regular or has constant rank and it's integrable by a proper, proper group way. Okay, so what's the common theme? The, the transverse Poisson geometry is, is well understood and tractable. Um, in general, trans Poisson structures are very well, but in this case, yeah, it's somewhat tractable. Um, so, well, that's the answer. Um, but uh, maybe more interesting is, is the strategy. Um, so let me explain that. The starting point for the strategy is, uh, is the symplectic case. So how does one build a Lie group structure um, and the, the, on the group of symplectomorphisms? For that, we need a manifold structure. And uh, let me draw a picture for that. So um, one way to do it is to look at a product of m cross m with symplectic structure omega cross minus omega. And then symplectomorphisms are, are basically the Lagrangian graphs in the product, right? So if we want to find build a, build a chart of the symplectomorphism group near the identity, for instance, we only have to find out, we have to model all the Lagrangians nearby, um, near the diagonal. And you get a nice linear model of the Lagrangians near a given Lagrangian using Weinstein's Lagrangian neighborhood theorem, which essentially linearizes the symplectic structure um, around the diagonal. So this linearization is important, and if you go to Poisson manifolds, you can try to, to do the same thing. So, in this case, we still have that in a product, um, we have, it's a Poisson diffeomorphism if and only if the graph is uh, Lagrangian. Um, you can say cohesitropic, but there's a notion of Lagrangians in Poisson geometry, and in this case, we actually get Lagrangians. Um, and if you can linearize this Poisson structure, then you can show that the diffeomorphism group is a Lie group. It's actually a, an, an embedded Lie subgroup of the diffeomorphism group. So that gives something about the topology. Um, so you can think, okay, maybe this, this gives us all, but we quickly run into problems. If you try to linearize the Poisson structure um, uh, around the diagonal, uh, then 
then we only limited, limited ourselves to constant rank Poisson structures. So one of the, one of, well, one of uh, the main toy examples, like the log symplectic structures, is not of constant rank. We cannot treat it in this way. So we have to figure out a way to, to, to get around this and, and treat these sort of intransitive, um, intransitive um, Poisson structures. Okay, so the linearization part is quite essential in building, the, building a chart. So what else can we replace in the strategy? We have to replace the product. So that's what we, we're gonna do. We replace the product by, by first by an arbitrary Lie group point. And how do we replace, what do we pre replace our diffeomorphisms with? It's a notion of a bisection. So a bisection is a section of the source map, such that if you compose it with a target map, it's also a diffeomorphism. And some facts about bisections is that they do form a Lie group with Lie algebra, uh, the space of sections of the underlying Lie algebraoid of the Lie group void. Uh, and sort of, yeah, by composing with the target, we, the, the bisections anchor to, uh, an, yeah, anchor to the diffeomorphism group. Um, this map can be wild in general, but um, yeah, for certain type of problems, this map can be injective or or maybe has a nice kernel or so. Some, some examples to keep in mind. Um, if you take the uh, M cross M group point, so the pair group point, the bisections are exactly the diffeomorphisms. Another example is, is um, we have a foliation F, a regular foliation. You can look at its holonomy group point. And if you then take the um, identity components, you get a group of foliated diffeomorphisms of the foliation. And this group, the, 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 these are the diffeomorphisms that send each leaf to itself. So for, for foliations, this can be an interesting uh, group and we can describe it using bisections of a group void. So this, this, this is a way that these group voids can be used to, to describe certain diffeomorphism groups. Okay, so let's go back to the Poisson world. Um, now, instead of a group void, we have a Poisson group void. And we have the notion of a coisotropic bisection. So what is a coisotropic bisection? It's a bisection like, like before, but now the image is, is, uh, is coisotropic in G, which is a Poisson manifold. In this case, we have a subgroup uh, of coisotropic bisections. And um, we're actually in a nice setting. Every coisotropic bisection has a Lagrangian image. And this, this, is, this is important for the linearization part because uh, this sort of linear model is only valid for, for Lagrangians. Um, I mean, yeah, you can only hope to linearize it in the, when it's a Lagrangian. So that's, that's good. And uh, again, uh, this anchor map um, lands in the group of Poisson diffeomorphisms of the base. So that's very nice. And uh, as, as before, now uh, just with M cross M replaced by the groupoid, uh, we, we can say the following. Um, if the Poisson structure on the group point is linearizable around the unit section, then the group of cosytropic bisections is a lead subgroup of uh, the group of bisections. So that's, that, that's sort of the main result. Um, now, to apply this main result, we still have to do a lot of work. Um, it only outlines a strategy. And what's the strategy? So the plan is, given a certain type of Poisson manifolds, um, you need to find a right Poisson group point that describes the type of symmetries that you're interested in. Then you need to understand sort of the image of the group of bisections into the Poisson diffeomorphism group. Uh, you hope that these, this map is also sort of nice and plays out nicely. And uh, another big part is we have to linearize the Poisson structure. And that's a very, very interesting problem on its own. Um, uh, I don't have the time to talk about this in this talk, but um, yeah, it, it, it also has been part of my uh, master project. It's maybe for a different topic. You can ask about it later. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think this, this works, so this, this works for, for certain types of Poisson structures. I, I don't think it's limited to Poisson geometry only. I'm pretty sure this strategy can be used to describe manifold structures on uh, groups of like uh, contextomorphisms of context structures of a certain singular type um, 
or maybe even uh, Dirac structures. Um, but that's something to be worked out. Okay, let, let me now uh, uh, move on to examples and applications to see how this strategy comes into play in practice. So first an example, uh, just general Poisson manifolds of constant rank. Um, this can be described, described by a regular symplectic foliation. So we have a foliation F with a foliated symplectic form omega. Uh, and in this case, we have an interesting Poisson groupoid hanging around, which is the holonomy groupoid. Um, omega lifts to a Poisson structure pi on the holonomy groupoid. This one is linearizable. It's something you have to prove. And then you can, uh, you, can you get an identification. Oh, this should be on the level of identity components. Anyway, you get an identity of this bisection group with the foliated Poisson diffeomorphisms inside the diffeomorphism group. So the foliated Poisson diffeomorphisms are Poisson diffeomorphisms that send each symplectic leaf symplectic morphically to itself. So this, this is how we can obtain a Lie group structure on the group of foliated Poisson diffeomorphisms. Um, Ribici uh, also worked uh, out a sort of flux a flux, uh, flux homomorphism in this context. So in, also for this case, we understand it, uh, the, the um, algebraic structure of the um, identity component quite well. And now if, in, in the case that m comma pi is still, still has constant rank and is also integral by proper D group weight, then we can actually do the linearization already on the bare group weight. Uh, using normal form theorems by, by uh, Fernandez and Mercury. So then we get a direct ident identification of the cosotropic bisections of the pair group boy with the Poisson diffeomorphism group. The second example, oh, uh, oh yeah, I, I have no idea of a flux homomorphism, a homomorphism in, the, in this context. Uh, the, the real hard part is that then the sort of, yeah, the, the quotient algebra uh, which is a, the first Poisson cohomology is non-abelian and can be infinite dimensional. So those are, those are hard to integrate in general. Um, maybe that's something for later. Okay, so uh, another uh, application in our log symplectic manifolds. So M comma pi is a log symplectic over a critical hypersurface Z. Um, we've, we've, we've seen in Raya's talk that this, that this can be described by a log tangent bundle with together with a log symplectic form if you want. Uh, and the log tangent bundle gives us sort of the interesting groupoid. We can integrate the log tangent bundle to its holonomy groupoid, which will be a Poisson groupoid. Um, so that's something that's, that's lying around, and then uh, this can be linearized. And this linearization gives an ident identification of the bisections of the holonomy groupoid uh, with the Poisson diffeomorphisms. So this way we obtain a Lie group structure on the group of Poisson diffeomorphisms. So in this case, really, um, the desingularization of the, of, the, the, of the vital log tangent bundle allows us to do the linearization on the uh, sort of log pair groupoid, if you want. Whereas on the pair groupoid itself, we could never linearize it. Um, there's another interesting groupoid in this case, namely the symplectic groupoid. And we can look at the cosytropic or Lagrangian bisections of the symplectic groupoid. And it turns out that this is on the level of identity components um, is exactly the foliated Poisson diffeomorphisms. So I put this in red because, I mean, yeah, it might, might be that you have to divide this by your discrete kernel, depending on which symplectic group what you take. Um, but in principle, essentially, this, this would, be, would be an isomorphism. Um, so yeah, you can put all these things together. Oh, I think I went too fast. So this, this gives us basically the interesting subgroups, gives us uh, a Lie group structure on those. And uh, in this case, we can put things together. Um, there are nat natural flux homomorphisms in this context on several levels. Um, first on the level of the symplectic groupoid, which already had been worked out by Ping Su in, nine, in the 90s. Um, so remember that this exact sequence would come from the symplectic groupoid. You can also do something similar on the uh, just Poisson diffeomorphism group. And these sequences are all natural. Um, so that's kind of nice. And you see how these come into play. And then, um, yeah, for, from, from, this, from these sequences, you can also describe the outer, outer Poisson diffeomorphisms. Um, and you get an exact sequence like this. 
and the last the last p, yeah, the p is the group of uh, the periods of the modular vector fields um, restricted to each component it's something you would expect um, yeah I think that's that's what I wanted to say so exactly when the music starts thank you for your attention <laughs>